Teddy Sheringham scored 146 Premier League goals. At the time of recording, he is 12th on the all-time list. Now Sheringham goes in the centre. Sheringham has equalised. What a great finish. His 22 strikes in the inaugural Premier League season saw him become the very first Golden Boot winner. During his prime, he was very effective and prolific, a striker capable of scoring different kinds of goals. Despite being one of the best finishers of his generation, he is still very underrated and isn't spoken about enough until now. Welcome to Football Reminisce and this is the career story of Teddy Sheringham. It's Teddy Sheringham with a chance. Sheringham! And how well he took it. Spurs are ahead. Teddy Sheringham was born in London and began his professional career at Millwall at the age of 16. He made his debut for the club in the 1983-84 season, featuring seven times and scoring once that season. He was loaned out twice the next year as he needed more game time. First to Aldershot in England's 4th division, then abroad to Sweden's Division 2 with Eurogarden. He impressed, scoring 13 goals in 21 matches. Millwall recalled him for the 85-86 campaign. The London club had been promoted to the second division while Sheringham was out on loan. He scored four times in 18 appearances in his first season back, but it was the next couple of seasons where he truly showcased his goal-scoring touch. He was the club's top scorer four times in the next five years and remained fit throughout the 1986-87 and 1987-88 campaigns. His 22 goals in the latter helped Millwall to promotion the first time in the club's history they would be featuring in the first division. Millwall surprised everyone as they led the league in October and remained in the top four all the way to March. A streak of 10 games without a win at the end of the season saw them drop down to 10th. Sheringham scored 11 that year, respectable number considering that was his and Millwall's first ever year in the top flight. Injuries meant he missed 10 games the next season. Nine goals weren't enough to keep the Lions up as they finished bottom. In Millwall's first year back in the second division, Teddy racked up an incredible 33 goals in 46 matches. This tally included four hat-tricks. Despite this remarkable return, Millwall failed to clinch promotion and it was inevitable that other clubs would come in for him. It was Nottingham Forest who secured the 25-year-old services for £2 million, joining the likes of Stuart Pearce, Roy Keane and his new strike partner, Nigel Clough. He didn't need to adapt to his new surroundings, scoring 13 times in the league as Forest finished 8th. His 5 goals in 10 League Cup appearances helped them reach the final, which they lost narrowly to Man United. After that season, the first division became the Premier League and Sheringham scored the very first Forest Premier League goal in a 1-0 win over Liverpool on the opening day. Surprisingly, just a week later, he was sold to Spurs for 2.1 million. Just for the record, Nottingham Forest were relegated that year after failing to replace him. 41 goals in 42 games. They definitely missed Sheringham. Over at his new team, he continued his goal-scoring knack, scoring 21 goals which secured him the Premier League Golden Boot. He struggled with injury in the 93-94 season, featuring only 19 times. He still managed to chip in with 13 goals. Tottenham struggled to cope without him, finishing 15th. That's the lowest they've ever finished in the Premier League era. The next year, he was back to his best, 18 goals and 9 assists. He didn't only score them, he created them as well. He was very versatile. He could act as the number 9, hold up the ball, outstrengthen the defenders and set up his teammates. At the same time, he had the vision and intelligence to play as the supporting striker and create opportunities from deep. Jürgen Klinsmann claimed that Sheringham was the most intelligent strike partner he ever had. He went on to notch up a further 23 goals across his last two seasons with Spurs. And Sheringham scores! By this stage, he was already 31, and despite scoring 245 career goals up to that point, he hadn't won any major trophies. The media thought it would be better to move on, and so did he. He accused Spurs of lacking ambition. Some things never change, it seems. Over in Manchester, Sir Alex was in search of a striker after the sudden retirement of Cantona. Spurs agreed to sell him to Man United for 3.5 million. As fate would have it, the very first match that season, Tottenham vs Man United at White Hart Lane. He was booed the entire game and it got even worse for him when he missed a penalty. 
It didn't turn out to be the season he expected as he only scored 9 league goals and United, who had won the two previous league titles, could only manage the charity shield that campaign. A falling out with strike partner Andy Cole didn't help the situation. They actually never spoke again. Somehow, it got even worse for Teddy when Dwight York was signed and formed a prolific partnership with Andy Cole. His first team appearances were limited, but his impact in the cup competitions was vital. He came on in the FA Cup final against Newcastle and scored the opening goal, and just four days later, he came off the bench once again, this time scoring a 91st minute equaliser in the Champions League final against Bayern Munich. Having never won a trophy in his 15-year career, he secured the treble in one season at Man United. He didn't regain his starting spot for the 99-2000 season, but in the 2000-2001 campaign, he featured more after Andy Cole's injuries. He took his opportunity, finishing as United's top league goal scorer. Teddy was voted the PFA Footballer of the Year and the Football Writers Association Player of the Year. Despite all of this, Man United added Ruud van Nistelrooy to the ranks. And with the competition getting stiffer, Sheringham rejected a new contract, opting to return to Spurs. He made 80 league appearances between 2001 and 2003, scoring 22 goals. He was 37 and Tottenham decided not to extend his contract. Newly promoted Portsmouth decided to add his experience to the squad and his 9 goals helped them stay up. Portsmouth decided not to renew his contract with the Ford now 38. He decided not to retire and instead he joined championship side West Ham. He scored 20 times in 33 appearances for the Hammers, securing promotion to the Premier League and winning the championship player of the year. By the way, he was 39. Predictably, he had become slower and was nowhere near the player he was in his heydays. He still had the technical ability to get around though. He spent two years with West Ham in the league before hanging his boots at Colchester in 2008. He ended his club career with 361 goals, three Premier League titles, one Champions League trophy, one FA Cup, one Intercontinental Cup and one Charity Shield. Individually, he won the Premier League Golden Boot, the PFA Players Player of the Year as well as the Player of the Year for three teams, Millwall, West Ham and Tottenham. He is one of five players to play in the Premier League in their 40s and actually holds the record, 40 years and 270 days. He is also the oldest ever Premier League goal scorer doing it at 40 years and 266 days. He actually stayed at West Ham until he was 41, but with relegation a possibility, the young legs of Carlos Tevez were preferred. He is also the third oldest FA Cup semi-finalist. For the record, he was the only Western player to convert his penalty in that loss against Liverpool in the 2006 FA Cup final. Internationally, he scored 11 times in 51 appearances, featuring at two World Cups. A good return considering he was battling Andy Cole, Michael Owen, Les Ferdinand, Ian Wright, Robbie Fowler for that position. In the 1996 Euros, he formed a formidable SAS partnership with Shearer. One of the highlights of that tournament was the brace he netted against a very strong Dutch team.